Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to my channel here at Maji the Priestess. Today I have a very quick word, very quick video. Okay. Um, so let's just get straight into the tea. All right. The tea today is something big is happening in your life. Okay. Whatever this is, take it in whatever way it resonates with you. Or something very big is going to happen in your life or is already happening in your life, whether you know this or not. Okay, so I'm here to give you the tea. Let's get right into this reading. I'm going to be using the Chosen Ones 144 Oracle deck made by me. The link is down below if you feel guided to use it. Okay, I'm speaking to a tarot reader possibly here. Let's see. Ancestor Spirit, guys, what is this big thing happening in the collective energy right now? What is this big? I'm hearing event. It could be an event or a transformation. Something big. I just keep seeing B-I-G, okay? Big. What is this big thing coming towards the collective? Remain calm at this time. So period. This is the season. This is the time to remain calm. Whatever's going to happen is going to bring you peace, serenity. It's going to release those anxieties that you feel um maybe you're worrying about it maybe you already know and you're just like oh my god is it gonna happen is it here spirit is saying it's here remain calm this is already yours somebody claim down below this is already mine whatever this beauty is it's already mine okay so remain calm we have power psychic abilities here <clears throat> And we have, you have a big mission on earth. This card keeps popping out this week. And again, we have tarot reader. So I don't know what's going on, but I feel like I'm always speaking to somebody who has a big mission on earth. Somebody who is really needed. I'm hearing earth angel light worker. Like you're very chosen. You're very much needed in this galaxy and this earth plane. Okay. You have some sort of psychic power, clairvoyant power. Maybe you're very intuitive. Whatever this gift is. It's going to be required at this time with this big event that's coming into your life, okay? Whatever this big thing is, it's because... Look at the word big on there again. B-I-G, y'all. B-I-G. Look at that. You have a big mission on earth. It's undeniable, okay? You know this because you're clairvoyant. So this is just a confirmation for you. Comment down below. This is just a confirmation for me. I have a big mission on earth to fulfill, all right? So... Let's get into it. What is this big change coming towards the collective? Change, chain, chain, chain goes the money tree. And every time we chain money come to me, uh, it all flows in so abundantly from the top left, right, and up under me. Look at that, door to value. That's what's coming here. You're about to receive all the finances and abundance that you need to fulfill this big mission on earth, okay? To fulfill your life purpose. You are manifesting a lot of money, a lot of abundance, and a lot of stability. Somebody here could have been born on the 31st. Okay, we have the world energy. So you're definitely closing out a major cycle. But like I said, there's something big. There's something big that you're meant to do on the mission on earth. Okay, this has to do with the world. You're going to be known worldwide. Or there's some healing that you brought, a gift that you brought to the world. I don't know. Take what it's, You know what? Comment down below what this is because I'm curious. But it has to do with the world. You having a mission with the world, with earth. See, it says you have a big mission on earth. And then here's earth right there. There's earth. So you can't make this shit up. You're about to receive all the finances that you need. All right? And this has something to do connected to your creativity, your sacral chakra, your root chakra. I'm hearing it's being healed at this time. You're literally about to travel the world. There might be a lot of traveling where like you're learning about currency throughout the other worlds. What is this big change, this big event happening in the collective energy here? Like I just keep hearing something big is about to happen. I feel like it's you. You're that something big that's about to happen. I'm blowing up. Somebody comment down below. I'm blowing up. We got angel of love. Okay. Angel of love. So like I said, you are an earth angel. You're manifesting the ten of cups. A happy family. A promise here. That number four keeps popping up. That could be your life path number. Um, but you, you might have to leave your family. Okay. Okay. 
to do and serve this purpose or you are gonna you're somebody that's manifesting love you're also manifesting a divine counterpart that you're gonna have this beautiful family with and you both might do this together however i keep seeing that you are empath you are a being of love of light and you have a big mission here to share this love to share this wisdom with the world okay period this message is not for everybody but it's coming through very clearly what else spirit what's this big change that's happening in the collective here i mean love is the biggest power of all so that's why you're attracting all this wish fulfillment we have anxiety okay so like i said you remain calm at this time you might be nervous because god is calling you the universe is calling you to step into your power to step into your calling you might be nervous to be on a stage to be publicly recognized for the world to know your name for the world to know who you are that may make you anxious you may be having sleepless nights maybe the anxiety is coming from the pressure i'm hearing the pressure you feel like you know like but you your only pressure is like you just need to connect to your heart to your love to who you love to what you love and connect to yourself to release this anxiety i collectively am also feeling this anxiety as well so we're all feeling some type of anxiety right now knowing that whatever this mission is is big so it might make you worry it might make you anxious it might make you feel like why am i chosen for this i'm getting uh, moses over here when he was telling god by the burning bush like he gave five reasons why he shouldn't be the chosen one to fulfill that prophecy and god was showing moses like what are you talking about if i'm choosing you it's because i hired you to do this god hired me who gonna fire me people somebody comment that down below if god hire you who's gonna fire you you do not need to be anxious this is not something that you're gonna lose this is something that is already yours this is something that is written if god sees that potential in you who are you to say well i'm not ready or i don't have that qualifications i don't have what it takes i who am i to to be a healer in the world who am i i keep hearing that but who am i well you are put that blank put in your name all right i am what i am says god you are what you are so stop being afraid of this potential and take action let me before i end this reading quickly go with some tarot and see what last messages we need to go here yeah some of you guys may just have a lot of anxiety here that you're dealing with while you're fulfilling this mission yeah ten of swords with the devil you can't make this shit up see you are fighting dark entities right now you are fighting incubus succubus entities you are fighting witchcraft you are fighting psychic attacks right now with the ten of swords there has been a betrayal or you feel paranoid like somebody wants to hurt you betray you or something like that okay you may be literally attacked in your sleep is what i'm also getting the devil is capricorn energy so you could be a capricorn watching here your birthday could be december 28 31st january 18 okay i'm getting that heavily with that number 18 on anxiety the devil card speaks about illusions okay temptations so it's like that's all in your head whatever you're thinking about is all in your head that's not gonna happen okay like you're gonna rise it's like there's some dark entity that you have been fighting all your life that could be the spirit of anxiety that could be the spirit of lust that could be yeah whatever this is this is a limitation there's temptation and you have been fighting this energy that has been trying to keep you chained but you're breaking chains somebody comment down below i'm breaking every chain that has held me back i'm breaking every chain that has held me back from being my fullest potential all right so yeah, you may definitely feel some dark entities here around you. Comment down below if this is you. We have the Page of Cups. Okay, whatever this is, it's going to make you feel very, um, very excited. It's like unexpected. There's the anxiety again. Somebody comment down below what's really happening with you here. Because I really feel like there's still something holding you back. Maybe it's your mentality. Maybe it's something here. I don't know if this is you or the people around you. For some of you, it could feel like people around you might feel anxious, might feel regret, might feel even obsessed over your life. Or if this is you dealing with this anxiety, it's like you need to remain calm. That was the first card here. Remain calm. There is nothing to be anxious about. Nothing at all. Five of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely like depressed here or dealing with anxiety, depression, PTSD. But you're going to, yeah, you may need to walk away from something. Spirit says that's the truth. You're going to have a breakthrough and you're going to get the truth. 
Um, I do feel like there's people in your life that are going to feel regret, though, for fucking you over. Stop crying over spilled milk. Somebody here has been crying intensively. What's this crying about, spirit? What's this crying about? What's the collective crying about here or worrying about? What's this anxiety? I saw the moon. Like, yeah, seven of wands. I'm telling you, you're fighting a lot of energies. There's that ten of cups again. Whatever you're working on is going to bring you abundance, wish fulfillment, happiness. But I feel like you are fighting or absorbing energy that is not yours. And you need to stand your ground. You need to protect your energy. That's the truth, y'all. That's the truth. It's like this anxiety, this worrying that you have, whatever, is not letting you see clearly. But you're going to be able to see clear. You're going to have a victory here. Hierophant. Knight of Cups. Okay? Yeah. It's like connect with your emotions here. You could be a Libra, Taurus, Pisces. But this is the Hierophant. You have wisdom to share to the world. People are about to look up to you and be respected, okay? You're somebody that's meant to be respected, to share this wisdom with the world. Definitely, definitely. The Hierophant also speaks to me like, yo, you protected. God has your back. God has chosen you. So what's the worrying about? There's the moon. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I'm telling you, there's like a lot of fear surrounding you. I don't know if this is coming from internal or the psychic attacks, but there is spell work. There is witchcraft. There's a lot hidden from you here that you don't see, but you're very intuitive. The lovers, Gemini, okay? You need to make a decision here. Yeah, the world is here again. You need to make a decision because whatever this is, you have a world mission here. You're here to complete a cycle in this life, and this is worldwide, a brand new chapter something to do with the world like your essence is not just small you're very connected you are all connected to the world but i feel like you have a mission here that we all need you whoever we are whoever you are we need you but you might be dealing with a lot right now and you might not know this but you're being called to judgment with the knight of cups this is your wish fulfillment you're being called you better answer it you better answer it because you've done this before many lifetimes ago God is calling you. And I also feel like your enemies are about to be put to judgment for whatever they did to you. I'm also getting like... Yeah. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Three of Swords. There was some sort of heartbreak or manipulation around you here. But I feel like you're setting boundaries. You're speaking your truth. Whatever this big thing is, it's going to like make you feel alive again. It's going to bring that spark in your life. It's going to make you feel inspired, motivated. Maybe this is what you're doing. You're inspiring individuals, okay? I do feel like you've been through so much, so much deception, so much that it has left you with PTSD anxiety, okay? Let's see what Spirit's advice before we go. Yeah, we got, wow. Wow. Ugh. Oh. I saw the card of envy as the, one of the first cards. Like I said, there's somebody around you who's sending you this energy. There's somebody that's envious of you because they know your life purpose. They know that you're not somebody that's very small. They know that you're not regular. Somebody comment down below. I am not regular. All right? I am not regular. This is why people envy you because you are not even extraordinary. You're beyond extraordinary. You're galactical and you're opening a magical door to healing here. But there needs to be a decision, okay? Yang, yang. Make sure you balance out your masculine and feminine energy. You are manifesting cornucopia, abundance, justice. You are cutting ties with contracts that were no longer serving you. And if you have been financially constrained, that is also changing, okay? Whoever broke your heart is about to regret that shit. You understand? Comment that down below. Whoever broke my heart is about to regret that shit instantly remember who you are remember you have a big mission on earth and remember something big is unfolding in your life something major is unfolding in your life so this is not the time to be sad this is not the time to be worrying this is the time to remain calm all right and let me show y'all a little bit of the trees outside here at Gainesville <laughs> all right guys thank you so much I send you love please and light love peace and light and if you like to donate information down below to book a reading, email me down below. Peace out.